Hey what's going on guys welcome to your 22nd Python 3 tutorial and in this video I want to talk about maps. Alright then so what is a map? Well maps are a way to take a list, apply some kind of function to each item within that list to change the items and then spit out a new list with those updated items within it. Okay so the way it works is something like this we have the map function and then inside it, it takes two parameters. First of all, the function that we want to pass the data through to change the data and then the data itself. OK, so what we do is we'd set some kind of new variable to say new list is equal to this. Right. And that would spit out the new list and pop it into this variable. So we'll come back to this in a bit. But for now, what I want to do is create some data, a list basically of words that we're going to do something with using the map function and we're going to pass those list of words through our on custom function to change them and then spit them out using this map function into a new list. So first of all, let's create some data and what we're going to do is create just a list of strings. So I'm going to say words are equal to a list and inside we'll have beat root and then carrots and then another one potatoes. OK, can I spell? No. Anyway, we have a list of words here. Now, what I want our function to do in this case, it's going to be this function within the map function itself. How I want to change these different elements is I want to form an anagram based on each individual word. Right. And then I want to spit it out into a new list called anagrams. So I'll set that equal to an empty list at the minute. So first of all, let's define this function which is going to make these an anagram. So we'll say def and we'll call this function jumble. It can be named whatever you want and it takes in a word. So this word is either going to be beetroot, carrots, potatoes, etc. So inside this, what I want to do now is say anagram is equal to list and then inside word. So we're taking this word which is passed in, which could be any one of these and we're making it into a list. And what that does is turn the word into a list of characters. So for example, beetroot would be B and then E and then E and so forth. So we've got a list of each individual character in this list now, right? So we've turned this word into a list. Now we want to jumble them up. And to do that, I'm going to employ the help of a module called random. So I'm going to say from random import a method called shuffle. So we're going to use this shuffle method to mix up these things. So I'm going to say shuffle the anagram and that's going to mix up the list of words. And then what I want to do is turn that list of characters back into a string, right? So the way we do that is by using the join method. So I'm going to return this. I'm going to return and then this is going to be an empty string. And this empty string is the separator between the items that are going to be in the string. So if this was, for example, a dash, then we get back something like this. OK, get my point. So it's the separator. Now I'm going to pass through an empty string. So there's nothing in between each letter when we return it. And I'm going to say dot join. And these are going to join together the shuffled up anagram. So anagram. OK, so now we're going to get back a string from this which is an anagram of these things. Make sense? So when we pass a word into this, we're going to get an anagram back. So now what we want to do is actually use the map function. But before we do that, I'm going to show you how we do it using a for loop. So we could do something like this for word in words. So we're cycling through this thing right here and referring to each individual item as a word each time around. So for word in words, we're going to say anagrams dot append so we're going to add something to this list right here. And the thing we're going to append is the word which has been jumbled. So we need to call this method right here, jumble this function, and then pass in the word. Make sense? So that's going to return us a jumbled up word. And each time we're adding that jumbled up word to this anagrams list. So then what I'm going to do is just print the anagrams. All right. So let's save that. And this time I want to run maps.py. So I'll say Python maps.py. And now you can see we get these anagrams of these items right here. All right. So that's the way we do it with for loops. And that is absolutely fine. But I want to show you how we can do this using the map function now. So let's uncomment this. 
And the way we do it is by saying map and then passing the function we want to use on each individual item. Well, that's the jumble function right there. So I'm going to say jumble. And then the data is words like so. And that is going to do pretty much the same thing. It's going to cycle through words and it's going to perform this jumble function on each one of these individual items then it's going to spit them back out so i'm going to say this time print the result of this now this isn't exactly right and i'm going to show you why in a second so we're just getting this map object back so this is actually returning an object which is a map but all we need to do is typecast this into a list so i'm going to say list then open up my parenthesis and I've just destroyed that map word, okay? And then close my parenthesis over here. So now what we're doing is we're using this map function right here to map these individual items. Then we're turning the result into a list, which is gonna give us a list now of individual words. So let's save it and do it again. And this time we can see we get exactly the same thing, okay? And yet the anagrams are different because this is absolutely random when it shuffles. So the anagrams are gonna be different each time around. Cool. So that is how we use the map function. Now, just for the hell of it, I'm going to show you how you do this using the comprehension way, which we learned in the last tutorial. So the first thing I'm going to do is print the result. And then inside this print, what I'm going to do is this comprehension. So how is this comprehension going to work? Well, what do we want to output first? The jumbled up word. So we'll say jumble and then word. That's what we're outputting each time, the function, right? And then what we're looping through, well, we'll say for word in words, like so. So this is going to do exactly the same. And you'll see if I run this again. And this time we get three different anagrams. Cool. So this is all working. These three different ways of doing this are absolutely fine. And it's up to you which one you use. Now, some Pythonistas might have something to say about using maps and probably would suggest using loops or comprehensions instead, and that's cool. But you know what, I like maps. They're an easy way to convert one list into another, and they don't take up much room, yada, yada, yada. But anyway, there they are. That's how we use maps. Use them if you want to.